Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation in Seattle with a note on the use of the Star Pilot TI-89 calculator to solve a sight reduction. Uh, in particular, uh, this is an answer to a student's question in class. In our course, in our online course, we don't use the Star Pilot directly. We actually teach the method of doing things by uh, paper and books and forms, uh, 229, 249, etc and the NAO tables. We use all of those. But uh, in this particular case, uh, a student was comparing his 249 solutions, and he couldn't get the star pilot to come up with the same answer. And that, and I'm going to illustrate that, illustrate that it does give the right answer. In fact, it uh, gives the right answer, whereas the, ta the 249 does not quite. So this also is an illustration. It shows the limitations of 249 and uh, how to fix at least part of that. But the main thing is um, the issue with a calculator problem is normally that, uh, that one uses the wrong uh, assumed position. Uh, if we want to compare answers, we've got to not use the DR position. We've got to use the actual assumed position. Normal use of a calculator navigation, you, use, you don't use an assume position at all. You always use your DR position. But if you want to compare paper solutions or tables solutions, uh, you know, fundamental uh, manual solutions, then you do have to use an uh, assume position when you calculate the A values, not the DR. So anyway, here's the problem. It's uh, from 1978. This is, our book is new, a uh, new edition, but, um, but we still have a few of the problems that was, was in there from our first edition, and our first edition was 1978, as it turns out. Uh, and uh, the sky, you know, the celestial navigation doesn't change. That's one of the nice things about it. But so the problems are just as good from the old days as the new days. This is uh, 9:14, July uh, 25th, watch time. Uh, here's a DR position, and uh, it's a sun sight, lower limb, 48 degrees, limb point four on the sextant. The watch was seven seconds fast, set to zone description plus three, nine feet. I see one minute on the arc. Okay, that's a standard problem. The question in our uh, quiz on the exam, on our online quiz, uh, online course quiz was what is the proper assumed position and from that and from site reduction using pub 249 what is a value and zn for the site that's a standard that is absolutely basic standard celestial navigation um, but it's using but the question is what is a 249 solution Te you know technically it doesn't say what is the exact right solution it actually is asking for the 249 solution okay so the way we do this is uh, we well the part a is easy the latitude is going to be this one rounded off so that's 3749 that's 38 so the assumed latitude is going to be 38 degrees north the longitude we have to first look up the GHA the GHA of the sun at that time. And then so the first thing is we have to figure out what the time it is. So you take the watch time zone description, correct for the watch error, and that is 9 hours, 14 minutes, 16 seconds, and then we correct three, uh, plus 3 hours, minus 7 seconds, and there is the, uh, the watch time of the site. And then you go in the nautical almanac, and when you go in the nautical almanac, you then find that the GHA is 1 degree 56.6 minutes, and the declination, I think, was 19, north 19 degrees 40.2. And so now we can figure the LHA. Again, this is just not the calculator solution that the student is asked about. This, I'm just setting the background for what the problem is. So here's the LHA is the GHA minus the assumed longitude. Uh, that equals minus 43 degrees. And we have to always choose these to cancel these. And so that's minus 43 degrees. The LHA is 317. So the answer to part A, which is nothing to do with the calculator, uh, is just 38 degrees north, A longitude, 44, 55.6 west. And, uh, and that's that. Um, now part B is what he's really after. Uh, so actually, let me just get out the calculator now and show you that solution. 
Hello, this example of using the Star Pilot calculator to solve a sight reduction. Uh, it was a request from a student in our Celestial Navigation online course. We do these problems all in the course with um, paper and tables and so forth, but uh, he was, uh, had a, was not getting the right answer with the calculator, and so I wanted to work that example. And so let me see here. Let me get back to the right screen. I think this is the right one. Okay, settings. Uh, we're going to do a sight reduction three, and it's a sun, <clears throat> and the and the date is uh, and it's watch uh, Zulu. This is Greenwich Mean Time, twelve fourteen oh nine. Enter. A day is twenty five of July seventh, uh, nineteen seventy eight, and then. Um, so what else here? At the latitude, the DR latitude was 38. Uh, this longitude, 44, 50, 50. Let me go up. Let me just show you this. 44, 55.7. Enter. Uh, I see was my one on. Take it off. So it was one minute on. Then nine feet, and then that was uh, minus one lower limb. So that's it. And the sextant reading was, let me double check that um, on the computer screen here, 4811.4, correct, enter. So that's that. And then there's the answer. The answer is the A value is 12.4, uh, uh, and the minus means away. So the answer is 12.4 away from 103.9. What's some more give us here? Well, then it just starts back. So that's the end of that, and I'll incorporate that in this other rest of the discussion. Um, um, so I'll stop there. So now we've got the calculator. So the calculator got the right answer, and the right answer was, uh, what, 12.4 minutes away from 103.9. Now, there's numerous ways you can go in and check to see that's really correct. Um, one is to go to uh, starpath.com forward slash calc, C-A-L-C, and then you can calculate the values. You can look up, you can calculate, you can do the site reduction, the equivalent of these tables. That you can do there. Uh, you can do the GHA, you can look up the GHA and declination at uh, starpad.com forward slash USNO. That will give you this data here. And these are, uh, you see, the, the right values, 1940.2 and 155.6. So the calculator gets those right. And then the, in the books, we get it right, too, because we're looking those up in the almanac. But it does show that the calculator gets these data right even back 1978 or whatever. And then the ZN, here's the ZN of the site, 103.9. This doesn't mean much because we have to compare it to the HO. Um, but the big difference here is the 103.9 compared to what the, uh, the tables 249 are giving you 105. Okay, I'm back. I got distracted there for a minute here in the office, but now I'm back, and so let me see where we are. So what happened is we got our, our uh, in-class 249 solution was um, a ZN105 and uh, A value 11.6 away from 105. So that would be the, in a, in a sense, that would be the right answer to this problem, the way it was asked. Now, let's follow up on that a little bit more. In the Star Pilot solution, we got an answer of 12.4 uh, minutes away from 103.9. So you see both the uh, both the a value, the intercept, and the uh, and the zn value were different. Uh, the uh, a values differ by about 0.8, and I'll mention that briefly. But the big difference is the um, almost uh, let's see one one full degree, 1.1 degrees or so on that uh, difference here on the. Um, 
ZN values. Now that is easy to understand in that the publication 249 does not interpolate the Z value at all. But I'll show you in a minute you can do that manually. If we had done this site reduction with 229, see not 249 but 229, then 229 is a more precise solution and you see that it gets here, it gets 12.4 miles away from uh, 103.9. Now this particular computer output here has it rounded to 104, but it's 103.9. Now that's, that's that one. Um, the 249, um, there's several things to say about that. First of all, we use the 249. We do a couple interpolations in the 249 that are not standard. If you did an absolute standard 249, you'd have ended up with 11, what is this down here, 11 miles at 105. So it had the same 105, which is the problem. But then there's some differences here, and that can be attributed to the way we uh, interpolate the 249, which is uh, essentially always an improvement. But I'll leave the details of that to the textbook. I just want to show the business on the... Um, on the uh, 249 tables. So here is a 249. I'm not sure if this all shows in the picture or not. Um, but here is the, uh, we got latitude 38 degrees, uh, declination 19 degrees, same name. So that's our case. And here is HC, here is the D value, and here's the ZN. So the ZN is 105 for 19 degrees, and that's the way the standard use is. But we had a, latitude, we had a declination of 19 degrees 40 minutes. So one way to do it is just drop over and round that off and go in there and use 40. Uh, and, and, and use 20 rather, 1940 round to 20, and then you come in and you get 103. But that's still not off by a full degree. So what we really, what if you really want the best and you're stuck with 249 tables, then you, ha you should interpolate that. And here is a note on that interpolation. You see at 19 degrees you get 105, at 20 degrees you get 103. The question is what do you get at 1940? So convert that to a decimal. That's so the question is, what do I get at 19.66? So I have here uh, one degree of declination equals two degrees of uh, azimuth angle there. Um, and now I can write this equation that the Zn at 19.6 equals a 103 plus how much it changes between between here and here, and that's the difference between here and here, 20 minus 19.6 times um, two degrees per one degree, and you get 0.7. So you get 103.7 if you interpolate it. Now the correct value is 103.9, but um, uh, which you would get with 229 or a direct calculation, but you get pretty close with interpolating 249 by interpolating for the declination. And I'll, I'll let it go at that and let that go. And so the summary here is that the star pilot will give you, if you put in the right input, as, as described in that video, you put in the right inputs, you'll get exactly the right values, uh, but they're not going to agree exactly with the two 49 for these several reasons.